Hey everyone, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity 2D Brick Baker game tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna finally add our bricks to the game. So it's a Brick Baker game and we haven't yet added any bricks to the game. So in this video, we're gonna finally add our bricks to the game. And we're gonna also add some functionality so that whenever the ball collides with the bricks, the bricks get destroyed. And later on, we will add some functionalities so that whenever the bricks get destroyed, we get some points or scores and the score is dis displayed on the screen. Okay, so we can do that in this video. So with that being said, let's get started quickly and start learning how to add bricks. As you can see here, we have different type of bricks. First of all, we're gonna start with a simple brick and then we're gonna move on to others. So let's drag this blue one and drop it right there. As you can see here, we have the brick. Let's position it at this position. So what we want is whenever we move the ball or whenever we add the force to the ball, we want the ball to bounce from wall to wall. And then again, whenever it touches these bricks, we want to destroy these bricks and we want our score to go up. So that's all we want from these bricks, okay? Now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go to Add Component, Physics 2D, and I'm gonna add a Box Collider 2D to it. Now if I zoom in, as you can see here, we have a Box Collider all around it, that's why it shows green, okay? So then what we want is, I'm going to add component, physics 2D, rigid body 2D, okay? And after doing rigid body 2D, I'm just gonna set its gravity scale to zero. And I'm gonna set its kinematic to true, okay? So this is how we have added a brick. Now we have to add different types of bricks, all the different types of bricks that we have here. So all we can do is, we can right click, duplicate, and after duplicating, what you can do is, okay, before that, let us delete that, let us change the name so that it helps us. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna do rename, and I'm gonna write blue, okay? Then I'm gonna duplicate it, I'm gonna rename it to red, and after selecting that, I'm going to move it at the right. And from this sprite render property, I'm just going to click on this sprites, this small circle. And this will allow us to choose any sprite for this. So from there, we're going to choose this red one. And then we're going to just click to it. Then I'm going to again right click, duplicate, move it right there. I'm going to name it. You can also rename it by right clicking and rename. I'm going to name it green. Select that. Click this small circle. And from here, just select the green one. Okay. Then again, right click, duplicate, move it right there. And then right click, rename, yellow. Select that. Sprite render, yellow, okay. Then I'm gonna duplicate that again, one more time, move it right there, right click, rename, purple, select that, sprite render, and then I'm gonna select this purple one. And one more we have, we can right click, duplicate, and select the gray one. And I'm going to also rename this to gray. So why did we do this the, at this way? As you can see, we have this all these different kind of bricks, but we want to attach these components, this box color 2D and with body 2D, and set its kinematic to false to all of them. So that is why what we have done is we have added this rigid body 2D and box color 2D to one object. And then we have just duplicated it so that all the features get automatically copied to it. And then we have just set its sprite to a different sprite. Okay. So now what we want is we want to add a script to these bricks 
so that whenever it collides with the ball, it gets destroyed. Okay, so I'm gonna select this blue brick, add component, and I'm gonna select new script, and then I'm gonna write brick script, create an add, and then double click to open it in model develop. So here are our brick script. So what do we want this brick script to do? We simply want it to get it to detect collisions. So whenever it collides with the ball, we want it to detect collisions and then destroy itself. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is and whenever we want to detect any collisions, we need to use a specific function called on collision enter. This on collision enter function is automatically called whenever we have collisions between two game objects. Okay? So let's write that function. Void on collision enter 2D. So whenever we have collision between two rigid bodies or two physics things or two bodies with colliders, then this on collision 2D function will automatically get called. And as a parameter to this function, we need to pass collision 2D and then any name. That's name is score. So as a parameter of this function, it always passes with which object this object has collided. So as you can see here, we are doing it in brick script. So this brick script is attached to this brick. So whenever this brick has collided with any other game object, then this collision on collision enter to the function will be called. And as a parameter of it, it will pass with whom or with which object this brick has made a collision. So let's say the brick has made a collision with the ball. So then as the parameter of that on collision enter to the function, as the parameter, this call will be this ball since it has made a collision with this ball. Okay. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to come here, select this. Where is our ball? You're going to select this ball. And as you can see here, we have an object here with a property called tags. This tag helps us to detect specific game objects. As you can see, the ball is set to untagged. So I'm going to select that, click on add tag, and I'm going to add a new tag to the list by pressing this add button. I'm going to add that and I'm going to name this tag ball. Then I'm going to select this ball blue, go to tag and select its tag to ball. So now as you can see, it is tagged as ball and whenever we're going to check with which object we have collided, if we have collided with the ball, then we're just going to check this tag. Okay. So next we're going to say if call dot game object dot tag equals then we need to write double quotations ball then what we need to do so here we are checking if the brick has collided with the game object who has a tag ball attached to it then we want to do this then what do you want to do we can either destroy the brick or we can just set its active property to false so let's go ahead and destroy the bricks so we're gonna say destroy game object and it will destroy the game object with which the script is attached as the script is attached to this brick so it will destroy the bricks whenever the collision occurs with an object which has a tag attached of ball so here only the ball has the tag ball so whenever the brick collides with the ball it will automatically get called and the brick will destroy so now as you can see now this thing is attached to only this blue only to this blue brick only this script is attached to this blue brick so only this blue brick will work now but what we want is we want all these bricks to work so what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to select this red, gray, red, green, yellow, purple, gray, all these bricks by pressing the, by selecting the first one and by pressing the shift key, I'm going to select the last one. Then I'm going to go to add component, scripts, and select brick script. So now the brick script has been attached to all of them. So now if I run this, now if I press the space key and move the ball, As you can see, it gets detected, the collision gets detected, but in some cases, it is not getting destroyed. So why is that? The mistake that I have done is this. As you can see, I have selected all of these objects, and instead of adding the brick script, I have added the ball script. So that is why we have this problem. So I'm gonna select this gear icon, and I'm gonna remove component, and this script will be removed. Now we're gonna say add component, scripts, and from here we're gonna select this brick script, okay? So now if I run this game, and now if I move it and launch the ball, now as you can see the ball gets collided with any brick and automatically that brick gets destroyed. So now we have achieved whatever we wanted to achieve and only thing we need to do is whenever the bricks are destroyed, we need to add a score that we will do later.